Ooh, it's time for some distance formula, but not the normal find the distance between two points that you're used to. Here we're going to find a missing coordinate. All right, so given the distance between 2y and negative 4, 10 is 10, solve for y. All right, and just in case you need it, we got that distance formula there as a refresher. So I know the distance between these two points is 10. I know the answer. I know that the distance is 10. So what I need to do is first set up my distance formula. Now, you can pick which coordinate you want to start with, whether that's the 2y or the negative 4, 10. I'm going to choose the 2y because that way, when I start plugging things in, we'll see it We'll see it kind of work itself out here. I got 2 minus negative 4 squared plus, and then I have my y first, minus 10. That's why I picked that coordinate to go first because that way my y is positive. I don't want to deal with a negative sign in front of my variable. It just seems like a place to make a mistake, right? All right. All that is going to equal 10. Now I need to do a little bit of algebra, okay? So what can I do first? We got a couple options. One, I'm going to square both sides here because that's going to get rid of my square root, right? And now I've got 100 on this side. And then I can do a little bit of simplification there. 2 minus negative 4 is 6, so that's going to be 6 squared plus, and I'll leave this as is. All right, now we have a choice. I can, well, first get 36 here. I can either FOIL that out, y minus 10 times y minus 10 and FOIL, or I can do something different, and I'm going to do something different, all right? Since I have a whole binomial squared, if I were to isolate that by subtracting 36 from both sides, I would end up with y minus 10 squared, quantity squared, equals 64. Now I can use square roots to solve this one. And if I square root on both sides, I'm going to get y minus 10 equals 8. Don't forget, though, when solving using square roots, we have both positive and negative 8. So now I'm going to set up two separate equations, okay? You could do this all on the fly, but I like to do y minus 10 equals 8 and y minus 10 equals negative 8. My two scenarios. Oftentimes people try to add 10 and then just think it's plus or minus 18. That's not the case. If I add 10 here to both sides, I get 18. But over here when I add 10, negative 8 plus 10 gives me positive 2. And those would be my two solutions. I am going to get two answers here and both these answers are going to work. Keep in mind, this is on an xy coordinate plane. I could have positive numbers, I could have negative numbers. We're not talking about distance here, we're talking about coordinates, okay? So there's two possible locations where the distance between these two points would be 10, okay? So it could be two comma 18 or two comma two, and that would still be 10 away from negative four 10. Two solutions, that's awesome, double the fun. Woo, hope you guys enjoyed it. More to come.